Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. I hope you all keeping safe, keeping well, and of course playing some awesome PlayStation VR games. Speaking about the games, that's what we're gonna talk about today again. But this is a PlayStation 5 VR news video. We didn't done one of those for a while now, but finally we've got some more information about another upcoming release. So I'm gonna tell you all about it. But before I start, remember you can still enter Pistol Whip giveaway for the US copy of the game. To do so, go to my latest live stream, which is the reaction to the Sony's state of play, which myself, I think, is pretty epic. We've got Hitman free in VR and also release date for Vader Immortal. So everyone is happy, but of course, people will be more happy if they could play some pistol whip. So go and enter giveaway. All the instructions are in that video and then the results will be in my next live stream, which be on the next Sunday. And that's when you're gonna have the winner. So good luck everyone. And now let's jump into this news video. Let's just do it. And today we're gonna talk about Pavlov on PlayStation VR, on PlayStation 5. Actually to correct myself, Pavlov, Pavlov Shack on PlayStation 5 VR. So you was asking me about Pavlov a lot. I always been saying mm, probably not gonna happen. Probably the developers are not interested. But it looks like things has changed because today the CEO and founder of the studio that did Pavlov been talking to people on Discord and let them know and let us know some information about what's gonna happen with Pavlov on PlayStation 5 VR. And listen, this is gonna be Pavlov Shack for starter. So Pavlov Shack basically is a quest version of the game, which is kind of like toned down, but also it's for free. Is it gonna be closer to PC version when it comes to graphics or not? I don't know. But anyway, without me just rambling on too much, let me just tell you what the, uh, what the studio founder said. I don't want to get too much into the whole conversation, but basically somebody said that they could release it for uh, PSVR without custom maps. And they said, in fact, on PSVR there might be even custom maps like in Pavlov Shack. And then another answer uh, was what the developer wrote. In fact, the build that is going to PlayStation 5 is Shack itself. Now, I say this loosely because I have no idea yet if there's gonna be new PSVR hard hardware. If there's none, then it's not happening. It needs better controllers and better tracking. So it looks like they want to bring it to PlayStation VR, but there is some limitation. And speaking about PlayStation 5 itself, you know, I don't think the hardware gonna be bad because it's pretty powerful. And you know, Pavlov Shack is Oculus Quest game, so uh, Quest is even less powerful than original PS4. So probably it would ruin it, but also keep in mind that the developers always got vision for their games and they always want certain way the game will run on the hardware. So, you know, on PC, you've got controllers with a very nice phone sticks, very nice controllers. I've got PC VR, I like the controllers, what they've got, even though I still think aim controller is the best controllers of them all. Even, even if you look at the PlayStation limited tracking and everything, playing first person shooters with aim is great, but the trade-off is you don't have manual reloading and you don't have any hands interaction. And that's what most PC VR shooters strive for. And I think that's the vision what the developer of Pavlov got for their game as well. And because moves are, you know, I don't want to call them uh, obsolete now, but they, let's say now at the moment, kind of below industry standard. Sony went with those moves. I don't know why, but also I'm not gonna question it because I'm assuming Sony knows what they're doing. Uh, I'm pretty much sure what they know what they're doing because PSVR sold most uh, of the all headsets. Even maybe now it's not most popular, maybe Quest is more, more popular now, but it's still very, you know, very high at the top of the best selling headsets out there. And this is a hardware that is nearly four years old and doing very, very well. But those controllers, sadly, the move controllers, they don't have foam sticks. The button placement is super awkward. You've got this camera tracking and I suppose the developer thinks, might think, I don't know, I'm just guessing. Yes, our game could run on that, but it would run a bit crappy and that's, we don't want that. And also when it comes to PlayStation VR community, when it comes to move controllers and first person shooters, you're all waiting for zero caliber and the developers working super, super hard to bring you that game. 
but of course they already announced they cannot do any controller because of course Hans interaction in the game is pretty heavy uh, and everyone pretty much got uh, very offended by it. They trying with move controllers, uh, but I know people saying they're not gonna like it with move. So the developer of Pavlov said they waiting for the new hardware and what's this new hardware gonna be? Uh, I even, even maybe just new controllers will do, but I'm assuming they waiting for the next PRV, PSVR headset, which we kind of expecting, but it's never been announced. All we know as of now is that current PlayStation VR, current move controllers, current aim controller, uh, you know, the dual shock, all the steering wheels and everything will work on PlayStation 5 while Sony itself never said they're gonna actually do continuation of PSVR, we don't know. All we know there is some patents and rumors, that's all what's happening. And also, you know, fingers crossed they will do it because I'm desperate to get like better controllers, even though moves do their job, they kind of are limited and limiting many games. So even though the developers saying, you know, they're gonna bring Pavlov Shack to PlayStation VR, we still might have to wait a while. Hopefully Sony will hurry up and give us something new. At least new controllers, I don't know. I'm still loving my PlayStation VR. Also, I know many people loving Pavlov game and I know many people would love to love that game on PlayStation VR. But sadly, we have to wait. Like I said, usually the developers got like a nice visions for their game and they want them to play good. And maybe the game, I never played Pavlov, but I heard very, very good things about this game. And maybe the game plays so fast, maybe, maybe it's so demanding on tracking, I don't know, that they basically cannot do it. I'm assuming they probably would by now test it on PSVR and come to conclusion, uh, no. So let's wait and see, but it will come to PlayStation 5 once new hardware drops. And of course, stay tuned to the channel because as soon as I know anything else about Pavlov and PlayStation VR, join together, which means Pavlov on PSVR, then I will be letting you know straight away. At the moment we've got some online shooters, but the pretty much just two, which is Firewall Zero Hour and Honor and Duty D-Day. Firewall, very, very good game, probably most high polished shooter out there in VR, but also it don't have this hands interaction, but plays great with aim. And another one, a budget shooter, Honor and Duty D-Day, which is very, very fun game and the developers already working on Another installment in this series, so you know, Honor and Duty Steampunk. So we've got something, but I know you want more and uh, most requested games always was Zero Caliber, Pavlov and Onward. Uh, Zero Caliber is happening. Pavlov, it looks like it's gonna happen eventually and only Onward, we don't got any news just yet, but who knows, it might happen. They're running on Quest already, but Anyway, it might be problems same as with the Pavlov, no good tracking, I don't know. But anyway, if you like what you're seeing, then please press a like because it does helps the channel a lot. And if you're new to the channel and have not subscribed, then subscribe. It's always better when it's more of us. And that's it, bye.